Hey guys, it's YB and Herbert. And today is Herbert's, well not today, but today we're celebrating Herbert's birthday. Happy birthday, Herbert. Thank you, Herbert. <laughs> so Herbert turned 32, so we got 32 wings. Oh, that's a coincidence, <laughs> huh? So we got Buffalo Wild Wings, which is oh. one of Herbert's favorites. And we also got some mozzarella sticks as well. And here we have some macarons I got for Herbert's birthday. That was really cute. Thanks. They look really cute in person. They're turtle macarons because Herbert's favorite animal is turtle. So we'll get to it at the end if we're not dying from this meal. So I got Parmesan garlic and original buffalo. How about you? I'm gonna try honey barbecue today. I heard good things about it. If you guys have been watching our videos, you know that Herbert always gets honey barbecue. All of them. Never change a winning team. You know, mm. that's what you say in soccer. I got mine extra wet because I like the sauce. I like it saucy. <laughs> I got Keith chicken sauce. Oh, I want to try it. Shout out to Keith. <laughs> chicken sauce. I thought it would be perfect occasion to have this actually. He likes wings, huh? He loves wings. He loves chicken, fried chicken, wings. Mmm. It actually has a hint of buffalo sauce, so it goes well with the chicken. This is not an ad, by the way. <laughs> so in today's video, Herbert is gonna tell you guys about his life, something we haven't heard of before. You know, how you came to America, how you grew up. Well, I can keep it short. My life is you. No, I'll keep it long. My life is you, so... You're my whole story. No, nah. No, I was literally always waiting for that moment. Okay, Herbert. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a German. And I came here 2012. East Coast first. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much from my childhood because back in the days we didn't have videos and photos. Yeah, they did. They had photos. <laughs> the prehistoric. And uh, <laughs> so, when you were growing up in Germany, because everyone played soccer there, right? As kids, almost. A lot. So I started with a local team. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, you know, I always went out to play soccer, and then I. Some coach asked me if I want to join a team, and I was like, oh. sure. And that was four. At four? Wow. And then I started with four to join a local soccer club. Mm -hmm. And apparently I got decent in it. Then I went to uh, a soccer specific school. Uh -huh. It was pretty much practice twice a day in between school, living with your friends. I didn't make it to the professional level in the end. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But while he was there, he actually met a lot of players who are famous now. Like he actually played against them and stuff. Yeah, so it was the highest division. Mm -hmm. And some players, they did make it. So like Tony Kroos, Thomas Müller, Jerome Boateng, they all he played all against them. Wow. Yeah. You could have been Thomas Müller. <laughs> Just kidding. But then I wouldn't have met you. I so, know, exactly. Um, I, I don't want that, you know. I'd rather you met me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so before we continue, I want to quickly talk about Junshine. So thank you Junshine for sponsoring this video. Junshine is a hard kombucha that is delicious and better for you than other alcoholic beverages. Their ingredients are 100% organic and at 6% ABV. It's also gluten-free and free of artificial coloring and syrups. Hi Coco! There are five flavors in total. There is Blood Orange Mint, Midnight Painkiller, Hopical Citrus, Acai Berry, and Honey Ginger Lemon. Personally, these two are my favorites because I do like kind of the pineapple-y tropical taste, um, but these are also good as well. This is the Midnight Painkiller. This is my other favorite, Hopical Citrus. So, so this one, Midnight Painkiller, which is one of my favorites, in particular is special because it has activated charcoal in it. See how it's nice and black on top. Mm. What's great about Junshine is that these are considered a champagne of kombuchas. By using green tea and honey, it makes for a smoother, less acidic taste. So it has none of the vinegary taste of a traditional kombucha, which makes it a lot smoother. Another great thing is that this is easier on the gut, so you'll have less of a hangover the next day. Junshine has just launched nationwide shipping, so if you use my link below in the description box, you can get 20% off your order plus free shipping. And now, back to the video. 
so anyways i did not make it to the level <laughs> then i was looking into america college soccer so i ended up at the east coast started playing there why did you go to the east coast i got an offer from them so mm. so herbert went to half dry university in new york right i did started studying in germany Mm -hmm. Sports, business and law. Then I transferred to America, graduated both in Germany and in America. Mm -hmm. But that was undergrad. I was undergrad and then went on to do uh, my master's degree basically here on the, on the West Coast. Playing soccer still, studying educational technology and leadership. And while he was in LA, that's when I met him. Exactly. But towards the end. Towards the end and then once I met you, because I was pretty much set going home. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I had to get in the, the rowing boat and try to figure out where to, uh, you know, how to stay in the country, so... And you stayed till now. So I stayed till now. Oh, I just realized talking mm -hmm. and eating is tough. Usually you talk a lot <laughs> and I enjoy my food and it's way, way more enjoyable, but now I have to... and talk. Get used to it. So yeah, I mean my life is pretty much you and soccer. So, and chicken wings. <laughs> so what happened after you met me and your college days were over? So then I had to figure out how to stay in the country. Well, I decided to share the experience that I made based in soccer at home in Europe and here in America. Just to explain it to more people and basically make a job out of it. Mm -hmm. I'm helping soccer players with their next career steps, advising them connecting them with clubs, mm -hmm. coaches. That's my passion and I'm glad I turned my passion into a job. So it's pretty cool actually. Herbert sends college students who are interested in playing soccer either in Germany or European students want to play here in America. So back and forth, he sends them, connects them with coaches, gets them into you know college, like kind of like a recruiting sports scholarship agency. I think it's cool. That, hey, you, thanks. you have an experience in that and then you're teaching other people. What about you? How good are you as a soccer player? Well, the only sports I played in school were volleyball, basketball, softball, because we were required to. Um, softball? Yeah. Didn't know that. Well, in middle school. Did you hit the ball? Sometimes. Aww. I was better at catching. But I am decent at running, but short distance. Like I'm fast. <laughs> I am. I am. I, I know. I am. I am. I know. You're tired fast, Bobo. Well, I know. That's why I'm saying short distance running. I would always win. Against? Other girls in my class. I'm so skeptical of my athletic skills. No, I am. I mean, let's put it like this, you're not an Olympic athlete, which is fine. Of course not! You don't have to be one. Right, I'm an editor. So, you have other skill sets, okay? <laughs> so, it's, I'm not trying to think you're small, Lulu. Mm -hmm. Even though you are pretty small, talking of, you know, basketball and stuff. You well, probably don't have the size for it. I actually made it to varsity basketball in middle school, not high school. Okay. <laughs> Once everyone started getting taller, obviously I wasn't as good, but I think I had the most fun in basketball. In volleyball, I also made it to varsity, but it was scary. Like when the balls would come spike at me, I would not want to deal with that. So going back to my soccer skills that I probably have, <laughs> is I was good at running. I'm good at kicking far. So when we played kickball, you know, kickball is kind of like softball, but or baseball, but you kick the ball instead. So instead of batting, you run and kick the ball. That's a thing. Yeah. I was super good, because when I kick, I could kick far, but probably not anymore. And you have other talents. I'm a creative person, not a right. sporty person. And I'm not creative, for example, so <laughs> that's my life. My family is so back home, maybe that's important. Mm -hmm. Not important, but that's a thing. Anyways. Wow. I just realized I didn't eat any veggies. Mm -hmm. Mm. That crunch. Uh. Well, before we get too full, we gotta eat the macaroons to officially celebrate Herbert's birthday. We're gonna eat the macaroons I got him. We already ate a few. These are by made by Sweets by Vivian. I'll tag her Instagram below. She makes such pretty and really yummy macarons. You can customize them. I customized ours to be little turtles. I'm sorry, turtle man. I'm sorry, turtles. Cheers, happy birthday. Well, are you gonna Thank eat the you. head first? 
Now I started two wings and some macarons and some mozzarella sticks for Herbert's birthday. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.